I saw Barbie. You still have shit in your hair. Josh. <laughs> <laughs>Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Barbie. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to our Sports on Patreon. Follow us to account, subscribe, like button. And? I loved it. Yeah. It's how a, can you not? Amazing. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think I know why a lot of Indians that I've actually heard didn't love it as much as... What's your take on that? Yeah. It's so American. So American. Yeah, me too. If you didn't grow up in the 80s and 90s with Barbie culture, American yeah. culture, there's so many ref like a lot of them Right from the get-go. If you if you if you don't know American cinema, you're not going to understand what she does at the very beginning of the film. Which is funny because I was explaining to a lot of them I was like it's probably similar to mass cinema for Indians yeah. <laughs> to how, very very similar to us. We did not grow up with it. And so it's Yeah, uh, the opening sequence for Barbie is frame for frame the opening of 2001 a Space Odyssey. Yeah, and then you're right. So many, all of the references there's a million references. I mean, for example, Ashley and Alexis and Micah, so much of this meant so much to them because I remember when I gave the kids baths, the girls had mermaid Barbies in yeah. the bath. I mean, it's just... All of them were actual references to real Barbies. Yeah. Like, and it's just so difficult if you didn't grow up. Because a lot of them were... I uh, One comment I got a lot, it was like, they felt it was childish. And I'm like, yeah. Yes. On purpose. On purpose. <laughs> It's a childhood toy. And, and, <laughs> and when you consider from the outset, the last time I was this flabbergasted by something that when I initially heard about it, I thought, I don't get that, was when Heath Ledger was cast as the Joker. Oh, yeah. When he was cast as the Joker, I thought, good actor, but I don't get it based on the other iterations of the Joker. Yeah. And then he just, uh, you know, life-changingly incredible performance of all time. And then... This, this script and this film, the, multiple Oscar noms for this yeah, baby. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. uh, great. But anyways, yeah. I'm that's glad not what this about. It. I finally saw it. <laughs> I was the only person on the planet, I think, that hadn't <laughs> seen it so. yet. So, uh, <laughs> I think there's actually federal inmates on death row who saw Barbie before yes. you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of another new release, uh, uh, Vishal Bardwash's Kulfia uh, hey. fi has finally come out with a trailer. Wow. <laughs> Ten years later. I know, finally. <laughs> Obviously, Taboo, Alia Faisal, um, a bunch of jokes. Alia Faisal? Is that Alia yes. Faisal's sister? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's uh, Alia Faisal's sister. <laughs> uh, so many other people as well. Uh, Who, uh, if, in case you don't know, but if you are anywhere near Los Angeles, Mr. Bardwaj is going to be at the Los Angeles Indian Film Festival here in a few weeks, and he's doing a master class. Will we be going? As well as a screening of this film. But I, funny thing is, I think it comes out before it's at the festival. Really? It makes no sense. No. Because it it says it comes out on October 5th, and I don't think... Oh, the festival, yeah, that's not until... Yeah, it's like 15th. Weird. I mean, I, I, he's there for the math class. That's, yeah. that's price of admission enough. Exactly. It's just exactly. weird. Yeah. Normally, festivals are always first. Right. Uh, maybe it's just a special screening, I yeah. guess. Uh, anyways, uh, let's just get into this. Two years in the making or something like that. It's been a long time. Sorry, I had to get all my shit in order. Here we go. Kisi ne gaddari ki hai hamare saath. We have a mole in the agency.
I love a good maniacal laugh. <laughs> मुझे मालूम है आप कौन है कृष्णा मेहरा मगर हमारे दुनिया में के एम स्मार्ट कृष्णा मेहरा इस के एम Very intrigued. Very, I mean, <laughs> Michelle Bard watched Taboo and Ali. I didn't need to see a trailer. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I would really love to know anybody who, which uh, it would be probably just be people in the West, but even they would be familiar with Taboo and now Ali Faisal, who's doing so much stuff here. Yeah. Um, uh, still I, not names here, though, unfortunately. No, but they're recognizable. Yeah, like, For anybody who cares, somewhere. yeah, anybody who cares about cinema would recognize them, but I'd be interested to know the intrigue because i mean just th the fact that it's vishal directing taboo st and ali starring that's enough for me to go see a film yeah. i don't need a trailer i don't need anything else i want to see a movie that has them in and you don't involved need to go anywhere because it's on netflix yeah yeah <laughs> um, is it getting a theatrical release or is it going straight to the platform straight to platform okay um so maybe that's why it's just because it's streaming or maybe they just wanted to do a q a i guess maybe with Vishal after as far as the delay yeah in terms of why it's going to indian film festival uh los angeles mm, almost a week yeah after right? yeah i think it's like the 13th or so yeah um after its release on on, on the platform yeah anyways uh written and directed by Vishal correct and, and produced produced <clears throat> and its score composed. i assume yes yeah. yep he just he does it all taboo uh there was that one guy like we uh, we've seen him a lot um not white guy the he's a indian guy that i pointed at i just feel like we've seen him we've seen her too what if we just see her in Wam i can't even pronounce that name that's a i believe it's name. wamika wamika i think so forgive me if i've mispronounced I that feel like we just saw her in something why do i like, it could be wamika or wamika was it Jubilee? Was that the last thing we saw her in? Oh, that would be correct. Yes. But I feel who who was she in Jubilee? Oh, she's in Vishal's TV series as well. That's why I saw her name recently. Okay. Um, because I was like, I feel like I've seen his name recently. Okay, yeah, it just says she was in one episode of Jubilee, so I wouldn't necessarily recognize okay, her unless she was right. highly featured in that, that um, episode. So I think it's because he's she's in Vishal's new thing. It looks, I mean, intense. It looks it, it's based off a true story, is what it said, right? Yes. Okay. And a, and a book. About it, about true events. Vishal likes doing that. He like, yeah, I feel like he's a, a well-read man, and so he likes to adapt. Yes, yes. Novels. Yes. I mean, at least from what I, I mean, well, we haven't seen everything of his, obviously. And you're when you have these people associated with it, when he's helming it, and you have Taboo and Ali, you're you can trust that what you're going to be getting to coin the word again is 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 something that's going to be artistically elevative and then in addition to the artistry being elevative you you know under his control and the writing the only the only question is going to be how true to the novel will it be and only those who've read the novel would know and exactly. i think that's somewhat immaterial because i think you can trust if there's anybody who's proven they can take something that was written and <laughs> translate it to film, he's done a fine job. But Shakespeare's that. easy to translate. Yeah, so simple. So. Not just to translate to the screen, but then to contemporize it to your culture and modern events. Very so, easy. So, so simple. Uh, and I'm surprised. Uh, like he, He's probably one of a million who've done it, and he's, he's probably like... Oh, not yeah. Good. It's so common. I mean... You guys, in your spare time, have probably taken the four-and-a-half-hour play Hamlet and turned it into something wonderful. Do you think Taboo, uh, when Irfan was around, has a closer relationship with Vishal or Irfan when he was around? Only she can answer that. <laughs> yeah, only she could answer that, and it wouldn't surprise me if the closeness would be more approximate with her counterpart as an actor because of the nature of the work. But, but uh, who knows? 
I think all three of them were pretty dang close. Um, so the only thing he has in production outside of that TV series, and also, what is... Oh, it's a documentary. Okay. I thought I had heard he was working on another Shakespeare adaption. Oh. Was it... Uh, oh, what, wait a minute. What, what was it? Free... No, I, I've heard it on, on the well, internet. Well, we had we did more than hearing it on the internet. Yeah. But did I don't... we not when we were in Mumbai? Yeah. Um That was a, a very direct and if I'm not mistaken, I wanna say it what was what play was it though? I I just don't know if it's still I think it was midsummer. Midsummer? I think so. I thought now, it was something different. I don't know where it stands in that yeah, regard. I don't, I don't know if it was just But I think it was one of the comedies. I think it was midsummer. If if you could do any if he could do any Shakespeare adaption, him of the show him, yeah. Which one would you want him to do? Next? Oh my goodness! Well, I would love a, a comedy because he's done he's done nothing but tragedies thus far. So I would love. I think he could do anything. I, I would love truly the one that would be the most interesting to see him do, and what he would do with it would be his particular vision of Midsummer. I, I, I he could do so many things that I can't even begin to imagine. There's so much there that he he could do a literal thing and just make it kind of fantasy. He could also just make that metaphorical and turn it into something contemporary and Indian. I think he should take Shakespeare's worst work and make it into a great film. <laughs> he could do that. <laughs> What's Shakespeare's worst work? In your opinion? Well, the popularity of some of his... and, and <laughs> You'll agree with what I'm about to say. He has some other lesser known things that yeah. a lot of scholars consider to be his lesser works in terms of when you watch the evolution of his writing. Yeah. I I find Romeo and Juliet to be quite sophomoric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And but, and a bit disconcerting. <laughs> yeah. And, and and of his stories, his it's most by far the overrated. The great thing about Romeo and Juliet is it's the most accessible. If anyone was getting introduced to, to Shakespeare, especially a young is. person, yeah. I'd say go to Romeo and Juliet. But it's because of that that to me it's his weakest. Yeah. It's his weakest. It's a good story, but it's 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 a very weak. Sanjay Lil and Sally did it better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting <laughs> to see what Vishal would do with uh, Romeo and Juliet, though, because he wouldn't do what. He no. Would, he wouldn't do what Sanjay... I mean, nobody would do what Sanjay does, right? No. Um, he would make it a lot darker and grittier. I, I, he I would. He would... He would... Yeah. What was the other Romeo and Juliet Indian adaption that we saw? Wasn't there another one? Of Romeo and Juliet? Yeah, there was like an adaption. I do it not remember. It wasn't Ram It was another one that... Hmm. Which... The Malayalam uh, one that... Not, that's not Romeo and Juliet. That's not what I'm thinking of. What was the Fafa one? Was this a, a, a rendition of what play? Oh, yeah. It was... Um, was it Hamlet? Um, it, yeah, it was. It was Hamlet? It, no, no, no. It wasn't Hamlet. It was... Um, Macbeth? Macbeth. It was Macbeth. Yeah. Yeah, it was Macbeth. No, I'm thinking about the film. It was yeah. definitely Macbeth. It was Macbeth. <laughs> um, and we said which was three, a really wonderful which adaptation. Which three times. So That's true. Oh, shoot. This well, is the, cursed. the channel is now going to be gone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, very excited, obviously, uh, with just the director and you know the, the story about that at the Pasadena Playhouse. Yeah, uh, obviously, who's involved? Uh, very much looking forward to another Vishal film. Yes, this would, would, this would be our first Vishal. Real, no, wait, I'm on his page right now. He's a short, a short. You mean since the the, the, the channel started? Yes. Um, composed, composed. Yeah, about... Darlings. He was composer. You mean one that he helmed? Yeah, this is his first. Yeah, I think this is our first director that he's helmed. New since, since the we... channel started. Yep, uh, that's exciting. Even Very though, exciting. unfortunately, it's not theatrical release. I always yeah prefer that'd... that, but whatever. Which I find well, but, it's Netflix. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, but also, I uh, like it, we said in the past, like him and Anurag, most of their films are technically flops. Yeah, most of them. Yeah. Um, which is just sad, but <laughs> just goes to show you, it doesn't, doesn't mean anything, obviously. It yeah. uh, doesn't make a great film. But anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer. If you're excited for it, what should be our next Vishal Bardo, which we haven't got to all of yep. this stuff yet. And yep. Taboo. And, and Taboo and, and Ali Faisal. Let us know down below. Josh!